Hey, and welcome back. I'm just waiting for the sirens to end. And also my boyfriend walked by this mirror a minute ago. We got a really nice shot. <laughs> he has left. Hopefully not too many loud noises are gonna occur from here on out. <laughs> I swear, every time I film. Welcome back. I looked back and I don't think I've done a favorites video in like two years. You know, I wasn't posting on YouTube too much in the past two years. I have a ton of stuff. Let's just get into it. Skincare, makeup, random stuff. Let's start with skincare. Let's start with a couple body care items. Um, so first of all, this Naturium Glow Getter Multi Oil Body Wash. Oh my gosh, I'm almost out of it. I have a question. Do you guys use shaving cream? Because it's one of those weird items that I think I've realized that I just never purchase because this is like dripping. In my mind, it seems unnecessary, but then every time I'm shaving, I'm like, it would be pretty nice to have some shaving cream right now. But for some reason, I have certain items that like I just don't like spending money on, even though I spend money on all kinds of stupid stuff. This is so nice because it comes out like an oil and it turns into a really luxurious body wash. And it's really nice to shave with. It's really nice to clean your body with. It's hydrating. It's just wonderful and delightful. And I feel like the packaging looks pretty high end. I think you can just buy this at Target. It reminds me a lot of the like almond body wash, if you've ever heard of that, it's pretty expensive. So this is awesome. I'm loving Naturium. Another quick body wash. This is the Waleda Relax Lavender Creamy Body Wash. This stuff, amazing. You'll only like it if you really like the scent of lavender essential oil because it smells super strongly of lavender essential oil. It really helps with my anxiety. I love putting um, lavender essential oil drops in the shower and this kind of does this without needing the drops. It smells so good. It's so creamy. It leaves your skin so smooth and soft and it smells absolutely insanely good if you like lavender. Next, I have a couple skincare items. This is the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid 2% plus B5. I really like the Ordinary packaging. It's super just simple and pretty and it looks pretty sitting on my desk. I pile this on whenever I can. Hyaluronic acid draws moisture into the skin and really anyone can use it and benefit from it. It's an ingredient that I even used when I was on Accutane. My skin was super sensitive. It's just an amazing ingredient to make your skin plump and hydrated. Even if you have oily skin, you can really benefit from a hyaluronic acid. And this one is a good price. It's really cute packaging. It's glass packaging. Makes my skin look very pretty and plump. Now this product, I wish someone would have informed me about a long time ago. I have a condition called keratosis pilaris. Um, some of you may have heard of that. It's this kind of bumpy skin condition. It often shows up on people's arms and legs. For me, it's primarily my arms. And it basically just leaves these kind of like hard bumps um, down your arms. Like it's not gonna cause any harm or anything. It just doesn't look great and it can sometimes be a little bit itchy. I've had it like literally ever since I can remember since I was a kid. But ever since I've been on Accutane, I've just been like much more dedicated to taking care of my skin and like trying to figure out ways to just make myself feel better in general in life. So it's like, why not try things? If this bothers me, like why not try some things? Tried a couple other things, but this product, this is the Amlactin Rapid Relief Lactic Acid Restoring Cream. This is the only thing that has made a difference. And not only has it made a difference, but a huge difference. My arms are pretty smooth now. They're not like perfectly smooth, like someone without keratosis pilaris but they are much smoother and I'm telling you, it's like a miracle. Like I can't believe, I had tried, um, there's a first aid beauty one and I hated that. That was way too rough on my skin and did not work. This is super gentle, not drying. You don't have that condition. This is just great for really dry skin in general. It's great for ankles and elbows. Okay, let's move into some makeup really quick. This is the Huda Beauty Silk Balm in Spicy. This is like a lip plumping gloss balm and I really love using a lip plumper in the morning. I tend to, I don't know why, if it's blood flow or whatever, but when I wake up in the morning, a lot of times my lips have like no color to them. Like I just look very dead and just sleep. And this instantly brings the color back to my lips. So a lot of times I'll just like throw it on um, while I'm doing my makeup or whatever. And I literally only leave it on for 30 seconds because I don't need like extreme plumping and I don't want my lips to get too irritated. I just kind of put this on and then I'll wipe it off after 30 seconds to a minute and 
it just leaves my lips nice and smooth and it brings all the color to the surface and just plumps a little bit it's like the perfect lip prep thing a couple more lip products um this is the dear darling water tint um, by etude house and I think I'll have to put what color this is below. I want to say this is the strawberry. It doesn't have the name on it. But this stuff is incredible. It, um, oh, I forgot to put stuff on my lips before this video. Hold on. Let me put this on right now. What I love about this stuff is it has many uses. You can use it for a blush. It looks so cute and perfect as a blush. Not too dewy. It just really kind of like stains the skin. I'm like one second, with very little effort. It just brought like a really nice color to my lips and the nice thing is you can really control how much color you have you can wipe off some of it to make it look a little more subtle um, but this is another great way to just bring some color to your lips and you can throw some aquaphor over it and it's just makes you look really alive and healthy and cute and yeah that's who doesn't want that the next thing i want to talk about are these armani eye tints i think they just newly released these or they might have been a relaunch i don't know but i have almost every shade that they sent over and i love them there's matte ones there's shimmery ones there's kind of ones with like multiple colors in them this is one of them this is the shade eight 8s it says on the bottom the packaging is super just chic and simple and lovely and this color in particular is kind of like a pinky champagne pearlescenty vibe and it is gorgeous on the lid on the inner corner what i will say about the shades is if you're looking for bright shades like the eyeshadow i have on right now it's not that kind of vibe it's really kind of like very chic color selection so there's kind of like a dark blue and a dark green and neutrals so there's not super poppy beautiful bright colors but if you like anything light and pearlescent and shimmery or if you want like a matte brown or a little chic pop of color these are so amazing they go on beautifully they blend out beautifully I wore a few of them to a Glossier event and they looked amazing the whole night. I just, these are awesome. Let's talk about the other liquid shadow that I've wanted to talk about for so long. This is the Kosas 10 Second Eye in the shade Blaze. This has been one of my vibes lately. I need to figure out what I want to call this vibe. It's like my jam vibe. I like kind of like a black honeyish lip, dewy skin, and this on the lid with like just like a bronzer through the crease and it creates this very aerial pretty vibe i don't know how to explain it but it's just like a very effortless vibe this color in particular is just the perfect bronzy nude shadow to just throw on the lid and it it really looks so pretty all around the eye like i'll pat it on my eyelid I'll put some under my eye as well and then just run a little bronzer through the crease. I do this eyeshadow and then the lip that I've been going for, e.l.f. Hydrating Course Lip Shine. I'm not sure what the name of this is. I'll put it in the description box, but this lipstick looks a lot like Black Honey. It's kind of like a purpley bruised lip. And these two together are just like the cutest look. And also this in general, these um, Hydrating Core Lip Shines from e.l.f. are beautiful. You can really easily create an ombre lip with them by just putting a little in the center and blending out. I like a much more affordable version of Glossier's Ultra Lips. I love these together. Another eye product that I wear seriously almost every single day. I do not have it on today because I was doing kind of a different, simpler look today. But it's the Makeup by Mario Pro Pigment Pencil in the Perfect Brown. It's just a brown eyeliner. There's a lot of different brands that have a brown eyeliner. I just happen to really like this one. It lasts well. I really like how I can create a little wing with it with my finger and it stays in place and doesn't move. It stays on my waterline pretty well. Not through the entire day but I it's pretty long lasting and I like the packaging it's lasted me a really long time it's just a very solid makeup purchase so speaking of stuff that I've been using all of the time another one of my kind of vibes lately is this kind of peachy Duyen inspired eye and the palette that I use to do this look I'm talking about is the Huda Beauty empowered palette hold it up here and see if you can kind of see the colors a little bit there's more peachy colors and then there's more kind of grayish purpley shimmery shades you've also got a shimmery gold and a shimmery kind of metallic-y silverish shade there's a lot of really fun and unique shades in this palette 
and my favorite corner is this corner right here of peachy shades those are the ones that i've been using like every single day huda beauty palettes are pretty expensive but in my experience if there's one that you really like the color story of like this one um they are beautiful quality that's my opinion like i feel like they're so pigmented but they're really easy to blend out and this palette in particular I think is great for Duyan style makeup because you've got some glitters, you've got some mattes, you kind of just have everything you need to create such a variety of looks, dark smoky eyes, light peachy eyes. It's just an adorable palette and I have used it constantly. This, I just, this shade right here, this one right here is my dream. It's like a sparkly foiled shadow that has kind of goldish and silver flecks in it. It's just so good. I love it on the inner corner or just like tapped across the lid to add just like a couple sparkles. And another product that I've been using almost every single day because I haven't done a favorites in like two years. You're mostly getting everyday makeup products because I really want to always talk about stuff that's like really, really good and that I recommend. I don't want to give you stuff to talk about just, just to talk about them. So this is the Light Lock Stick in Greek Tragedy creamy stick highlight and the color is like the perfect champagne tone that I think would work on many different skin tones. It's not super fair and it's not super deep. It um, is beautiful on the nose and on the cheekbones, on the inner corner. It's the perfect visible highlight so it's not like totally clear like you can see the highlight if that makes sense it's not one of those balms that just like makes your skin glow it's got a little bit of reflection to it but it's not too extreme either i have another lip product i realize now that i'm looking at this i have a ton of lip, lip products but the thing is i just literally genuinely just went and grabbed everything off the top of my head that i've been loving and i guess that happens to be a lot of lip products but I need to talk about this. This is the Make Beauty. I want to say it's called Cream Supreme Lipstick in Parallel Universe. Look at this packaging. I just feel like I'm like in an old Hollywood movie smoking a cigarette. Like it's just so beautiful. I love the thinness of this packaging. And then look at this. Isn't this so satisfying? This reminds me of Victoria Beckham Beauty packaging, except even better because I love how long this is. This shade is for the bold. It is a really dark purple and it is the perfect kind of bold dark lip for me. I will put up a picture. I wore it on my Instagram with like a metallic shadow in the center of my lip. I don't usually like lipsticks that are shiny. I tend to lean more towards matte lipsticks or glosses. This is a shiny lipstick, but let me tell you the formula is divine so if you don't like dark purple definitely check out their other shades because there's a huge selection and they're super pigmented like one swipe beautiful color beautiful color payoff and shine and they're, they also have incredible lasting power like I just couldn't believe I ate with this on and most of it stayed on it didn't bleed outside of my lip line and that is a really hard task for a glossy lipstick to accomplish. This formula is truly incredible and I've seen a couple other people mention this in their favorites videos and there's a good reason. It's it's very unique and amazing. Like if you want your lips to look juicy and healthy but also not have the lipstick like fall off your lips. You want you want it to stay and last this is the lipstick for you. And the shade is for you if you wanna try something a little more dramatic, it is so pretty. Next up, we have some false lashes. These are kind of, the best way I can describe them is kind of like anime style lashes. Like they're spiky individual lashes that have, um, they're just really tiny, thin, weightless band. You can't see the band. I wore them in my last video if you'd like to see what they look like on, but I've reused them several times. It comes with a ton of them. I got these on Amazon. They truly look so cute and natural. If you have shorter lashes, these are gonna look less natural, but still so cute. They just really give that beautiful spiky effect. I either like to wear three of them, like one in the center and one on each side, or sometimes I like to just take one and put it on the end of my lashes and it just gives that little like old Hollywood kind of flick. These are so great. Um, I'm not a huge false lash person and these, totally won me over. They're just 
really cute and natural looking, but also kind of fun with the spikiness. Okay, now I have a couple random things. I had to mention the dictionary of color combinations. I am very slowly doing a series on my Instagram about this book where I pick one of these color combinations and then I do a makeup look based on it. Um, let me show you. Here's some of the pages. It is so great if you're an artist, if you're a graphic designer, if you're in anything that involves color, or you just, I don't know, you just love a lovely color combination. This is just such a helpful tool when I'm really uninspired when it comes to my art on Instagram or my art at home where I'm drawing and painting. This is such a great way. If I just can't think of anything, I'll just pick one of these color schemes and go from there. It's a really cute, helpful book. I constantly use it. It's so great. Next, I want to talk about this replica by the fireplace candle. So I'm almost out of this. It smells so good. This essentially smells like you're by a campfire, but a smell of a campfire that's appropriate for your house, if that makes sense. It's not just straight campfire. It's got to me almost like a vanilla-y scent to it as well. So it just smells beautiful in the home and it's a very nostalgic scent for me. It just reminds me of being a kid and being around a campfire in the forest. So it's just very comforting and I love Replica's packaging. It's very chic and simple, which is what I tend to kind of go for. Such a good candle. It really is a unique scent. Like, there is that campfire smell, but there's some other stuff too. I'm not that great at describing scents, but I just wanted to say that this candle is so comforting and pretty and I really recommend it. Finally, I wanted to throw in something really random. This is just Australian Naked Ginger. I got this at Whole Foods and as you can see, I've eaten almost all of it. Now let me tell you, this is not going to be for everyone. I'm going to eat one right now. <laughs> it's not going to be for everyone. These look like little gemstones, little rocks. I love it so much, just the appearance. And it's literally straight up ginger with like a sugar coating. Um, really spicy, really hot. If you don't like ginger, obviously don't get these. It's straight up ginger with sugar. But there's like a really nice crunch from the sugar. And ginger's really good for, for you, from what I understand. So, I don't know. It's just a good little treat during the day. They're so freaking delicious. I, I'm gonna have another one, hold on. They're just really spicy and intense, so I don't know. If you've never tried raw ginger, just brace yourself, but so delicious if you like spicy, sweet things. Mm, so good. Probably could have talked forever, so I had to limit myself to this selection of things. If you liked the video, don't forget to like it and subscribe if you would like to. I'm trying to come out with new videos most Mondays. I'm hoping to up that when I move in a few weeks. I hope you have such a wonderful week, weekend, wherever you're at, and thanks so much for watching. Bye!